What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be predicting the Dallas Cowboys schedule. So, I do believe that the Cowboys and the Eagles are going to be competing for the first seed in their division. And this is definitely one of the hardest videos to make because last season, the Dallas Cowboys were so inconsistent, it wasn't even funny. They'd go on winning streaks, losing streaks, winning, win winning streaks, losing streaks. And one of the highlights of this team is that they had one win over a team with a winning record. And that team was obviously the Philadelphia Eagles. So it just shows you how this team is just so inconsistent. They had shutouts, good games against bad teams. But when they played good teams, it just looked like crap. It made no sense. So starting with the Eagles, at the Eagles, I do believe that the Cowboys are going to lose this game. So obviously I do think that the Eagles and the Cowboys are going to split this series. It's happened in the past, happens all the time. And since it's in Philly, I do believe the Cowboys are going to lose this game. So one thing about the Cowboys, they drafted CeeDee Lamb and Trevon Diggs. So this team is going to look a little better on the offense and the defense. And one of the things, one of the more surprising things about that comment I just made is that they literally were like the number one offense in the league last season, maybe second in the league behind the Buccaneers. Yeah, at the same time, they had eight wins. So it's kind of weird, right? So I'm going to give the Philadelphia Eagles the win. I do believe the Eagles defense is a little better, but these teams are basically even. So the next away game they play is at New York Giants. Um, not a hard game to win. I don't think the Giants are good. Um, they drafted an offensive tackle. Pretty good pick in the draft, third pick in the draft. But at the same time, like the Giants, they do have really good talent. Like Saquon Barkley, Evan Ingram. But Daniel Jones, he's like the derpiest quarterback in the league. Like I thought Eli Manning had weird pictures taken of him. But then you look at Daniel Jones, he's even uglier. But all all things aside, Daniel Jones doesn't cut it for me. I don't like how he plays. Um, inconsistent. Had a couple wins, like two wins in the beginning of the season. Guess what? Finished with four wins or something. So congrats with that. Uh, yeah. So the next away game of the season is against the Washington Redskins. And... I might regret saying this, but I do believe that the Washington Redskins are going to get the W. Um, although I don't think the Redskins are good, and it's in D.C., so that's going to give the Redskins a little bit of an advantage. But at the same time, I don't think the Redskins are that good. But Chase Young going to have a great season next season. Um, the Redskins didn't have a second-round pick. Could have probably used it, but they didn't have one. So, Redskins defense is going to look a little better. And I believe if Chase Young dis disrupts Dak Prescott all game, the Redskins are going to pull off the win. I don't really know. I don't really see it happening. But I'm going to go with my gut, and I think the Redskins are going to get to W. So, I'm going to regret this in the future. We'll see. So, that is all for the away games on the division. So, let's continue with the AFC North away games. So, they start... Uh, at Baltimore and obviously this is definitely one of the hardest games of their season just because it's at Baltimore you already know Baltimore is really good they had a 14-2 record I don't think Baltimore is going to be as good because you can't lose a playoff game to the Titans and then be good but at the same time Ravens had an incredible draft and obviously they're the Ravens so easy win for the Ravens another loss for the Cowboys um, the next away game in that AFC North is at the Cincinnati Bengals. So they do play Joe Burrow, and it's going to look pretty pretty nice. Joe Burrow, I do believe he's a really good QB, but like every first drafted QB, the team isn't good for like three to six years after they draft because, you know, they need more players to accompany him, and he just needs to get better. Unlike Kyler Murray, I do believe Kyler Murray is going to have a really good season just because it's his second year and they got they drafted talent. But I don't think the Bengals are going to look 
good. And I do believe the Cowboys should get this win. Just common sense pick right there. So the next teams that they play are at the Los Angeles Rams. So we've seen this in the playoffs a couple times. Two years ago, the Cowboys won their division. Rams did. And the Rams pooped on the Cowboys. I do believe the Rams are going to be good again with a winning record. So I am going to give the Rams the win just because it's in L.A. Um, I do believe the Cowboys could beat them at home, but it's not. It's in L.A. Big Coliseum. I mean, stadium. The Rams are going to be better. Cowboys are going to lose another loss for the Cowboys. So the next team in the NFC West is at Seattle. And, man, that doesn't look good. Another hard game for the Cowboys. So I'm going to give the Cowboys the L. Um, It's just common sense there, too. Seattle's really good. Um, Seattle already beats the Cowboys in the playoffs. That's who eliminated uh, – actually, the Packers did. But whoever whoever is the home advantage between, between, like, Seattle, Packers, Cowboys, just always wins. It's in Seattle, hard place to play. Cowboys aren't even that good on the road. Easy win for the Seahawks. Another lose for the Cowboys. So that is it with the NFC teams away. And I do believe – but they have one more away game, and it is at Minnesota. So this is a second-place div- division team that they automatically play. I mean, that's like since the Cowboys got second, the Vikings play them. So it is in Minnesota. I do you believe it's going to be a hard game to win for the Cowboys, and they're not going to? But man, this is just not looking good right now. All the away games are going to be hard to w- win, and I don't think they're going to win most of them. So we saw this matchup last year, Vikings-Cowboys. Vikings absolutely destroyed them in Dallas. I don't expect a different outcome this year in Minnesota. I'm going to have to give the Vikings the W. Common sense pick right there. So that is it with the road games, I believe. And, yeah, I don't think I missed any. And that is not looking like a good record right there. So, boo-hoo. All right, let's go to the home games. Hopefully the Cowboys can get some wins. Hopefully not. Who who likes the Cowboys? Whatever. So, starting at home against the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, I do believe the Eagles are going to lose this game, and the Cowboys are going to win. Like I said it earlier, they should split the series. But, if I do believe that a team, that the Eagles or the Cowboys, uh, if one of them was to go 2-0 and against each other, I actually think it would be the Eagles, just because they're a little bit better, better defense, and their offense just... I don't know. It's kind of stupid. Eagles had a really bad draft pick. Uh, like, I don't understand it. They could have had Justin Jefferson, uh, whatever Jefferson or something. They didn't get him. GG. Easy win for the Cowboys. Actually, not easy, but the Cowboys always seem to own the Eagles at home. We'll see it again. So next they play the Giants at home. Uh, easy win for the Cowboys. Cowboys aren't good. Giants aren't good, but it's in Dallas. Easy win, no doubt about it. And the last NFC East team they play home, again, the Redskins. They lost to the Redskins earlier. They're going to beat the Redskins this time. It's in Dallas. Um, I hope Chase Young injures Dak in this game. Not going to lie, but whatever. Stupid, stupid QB, whatever. So, yeah, we're going to see the Cowboys get the W against the Redskins for the first time of the season. And can't really see other way any other way. I wouldn't be surprised if the Dallas Cowboys went six and zero or like four and two against their division, but nah, probably not. So that is it for the NC East. Continuing with the home games, they play the Steelers. Big Steelers fan am I. But I do believe the Cowboys are gonna have a good game against the Steelers. And get the W. This happened at Heinz Field two years, three years ago, four years ago, whatever. Four years ago, I believe. And, oh, I was so angry that, like, Ezekiel Elliott got a last 20-second touchdown. And Steelers choked such a good, like, Dan Marino fake, whatever. Steelers choked that game. I was so angry. And watching that game, just I just can't see the Steelers beating the Cowboys. I feel like it's going to be the Steelers' choke game of the season. 
even though they have the competition and the gear to win the game. So I'm going to give the Cowboys the win. So the next home team they play against at home is the uh, Cleveland Browns. Cleveland, I do believe they're like middle of the league. They're not trash, but they're not good. And that being said, I do believe the Cowboys are going to win. I don't think the Browns are good enough to beat the Cowboys at on the road. And they do have the talent. They got OBJ, Jarvis, Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt. Yeah, that team had six wins. Let's see. I'm doing my calculations, and that doesn't add up. So horrible coaching staff here in Cleveland. I don't expect them to be good and get the L at Dallas. So the next home games they have is they play they play the Cardinals at home. And I'm really hoping to see the Cardinals have a great season. And for that to happen, they have to win non division games. And that that'd be against the Cowboys, but mm, I can't see the Cardinals beating the Cowboys. I can actually. I feel like that's gonna be the Cowboys choke game. But honestly, my gut tells me the Cowboys are going to get the W by, like, three points. I would not be surprised if the Cardinals destroyed the Cowboys in Dallas, but I would. So I'm going to give the Cowboys a win. I'm going to regret this later because I just I just don't feel like the Cowboys are going to win their division. But with the record upcoming, we'll see. So I'm going to give the Cowboys the win. So the next game they play at home. Against the 49ers. Boo hoo. Not looking good. 49ers. One of the best teams in the league. This is going to. I think the Dallas Cowboys are actually going to challenge them in this game. It's going to be a close one. But I think the 49ers are going to come out on top. And get the W. I don't really. Can't really see any other way. Um, I could. But at the same time. 49ers are really good. And they should not lose. But. We'll see. I do believe the Cowboys are going to lose that game. And I do believe there's one last game of the season. And it's against the Atlanta Falcons. So the Atlanta Falcons, in my opinion, are one of the worst teams in the league. Um, They went 7-9, and nine, but at the same time, like, they didn't, they added a injured running back, Todd Gurley, for no reason. Like, he was so bad last season. Because of those injuries. And they lost their tight end. Austin Hooper. Falcons are going to be good. Especially at the Dallas Cowboys. Not going to win that game. Cowboys are going to get the W. And that is it. So looking at their schedule. I do believe that is a 9-7 and seven record. I'm really hoping the Cowboys aren't that good next season. Because like I said in my Eagles video, I do believe the Eagles are going to go 8-8. Eight and eight. Maybe the Eagles will go 9-7. and seven. Kind of regretting that Browns game. Because I think the Eagles should beat the Browns. But we'll see. I do believe that mm, the Cowboys are going to start strong. Like they do always. But then just play bad, you know. They're just not good. 3-0 and last season turned into like 3-3. Three and three embarrassing so that's it really nine and seven record one better than the eagles i do think the eagles are actually going to win their division though i just i might have screwed up that eagles video we'll see i may have not actually but at the same time i think the eagles would go eight and eight and the cowboys would go eight and eight i just feel like the cowboys are going to choke one of these games like the steelers or the cardinals at home so that's it really thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe.